Alright, I think we're good. Um, I never know how to start these videos. I never know how to start any video. It's like, I feel like I've been doing these videos now, or just videos in general, for 15 to 20 years. I started racing professionally in 2006, um, you know, doing sponsor videos. I think my first YouTube video on my own page was maybe in... I think it was 2012 or something. So let's just say my own YouTube channel I've been doing for 12 years now. And it just seems like there's never like the right intro to a video. And when I say intro, I don't mean, you know, the graphic that comes across and says your name and your channel name, whatever, all that stuff. I just mean like how you start talking. Like it's always so awkward. Um, and I think to be completely honest, it's like the main reason that I don't make videos is because just starting the video is the hardest thing. Like figuring out what to say at the beginning and if you rewatch it and you don't like the way that you started the video you don't like any of the video so from now on I'm gonna start every video that I post with just kind of a little bit of an explanation of who I am because it seems like a lot of the people I mean I don't know the analytics but definitely more than 75% of the people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribers so I'm thinking a lot of you guys just randomly stumble across a video because of a title because of a thumbnail um, you know obviously there's some fans that have been watching for a long time I mean we have 50 something thousand subscribers now which is crazy considering we don't post hardly ever um, um, but yeah, <laughs> my name is Josh Heron. Uh, I've been racing motorcycles professionally for 19 years and sometimes I bring a camera with me. My biggest sponsor is OnlyFans. So a lot of my content gets posted on OFTV, which is a platform a lot like YouTube. Uh, but most of the content that we post on there is behind the scenes from my races. So um, I'm going to start using my YouTube platform again to kind of show you other things that we're doing when I go to sponsor events or just events for dealers like we're doing today or maybe, you know, some coaching that I'm doing with people. Um, you know, for the last two years, uh, OFTV, actually this is the third year now with OFTV and OnlyFans, and I've focused on just putting videos there, and, um, it's great, I love their platform, I love OnlyFans, I love OFTV, um, but I feel like by not posting videos on YouTube, I'm not helping my OFTV channel, and I'm also leaving the 50-something thousand subscribers that I have on YouTube hanging. So I'm going to start posting all of my behind-the-scenes racing content on OFTV. I'll still leave my OnlyFans messages open to anybody wanting free advice. Uh, you can message me on there, and I'll give you free advice on there, you know, free motorcycle street tips. Uh, if you're new to motorcycles, if you're uh, new to the track if you want advanced racing tips you can go on there and message me um but from now on i'm gonna be posting a lot more on youtube because i think i'm like i said hurting my oftv channel i'm also hurting the subscribers that are here so today i'm in newport beach california we're doing an event for ducati newport and the and they're gonna kill me because i don't even know this ducati orange county owners club <laughs> i think the dorc Ducati. i don't even know yeah but it's the orange county ducati owners club um i don't know if i'm saying the name right uh, but we're basically just meeting up at Ducati Newport. We're doing a street ride with their top, uh, I guess, customers or top uh, guys in the owner's club. Then we're doing like a lunch and question and answer. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. I got my own camera. Ian's going to be here capturing footage, who's my videographer for the year whenever we film all of our OFTV content. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what this video is. I just wanted to bring you guys along, show you what's up. Um, right now I'm sitting in my sprinter van and I'm just about to head over to the dealership. These are the leathers that never never really lived this is a new hat i don't know if you guys like this thing nice nice little hat got the same thing here but in red but these are the leathers that never made the light of day whoa shit calm down calm down that was my fault that wasn't the lever rack magnet's fault. That was my fault. I pulled it like down and away. That was stupid. I just drove for an hour and a half. These things never fell. <laughs> I just like pulled up exactly how I would to take the magnet off the wall because I'm a moron. OnlyFans has been a big supporter of mine for uh, three years now. I love the company. I love everybody there that I work with. And man, this bike just would have looked really good. But it just uh, wasn't meant to be this year. Hopefully someday we can make it happen, but I still have my personal deal on my KYT helmet, so I'll be repping, you know, only fans on the helmet. Uh, got my Ducati V4S that you guys, I'm pretty sure we've posted a video with this thing already. Uh, got it from my friends over at Moto Corsa. I love this thing. I haven't rode it enough. If you didn't notice, <laughs> The Ducati's loaded 
backwards. This doesn't have the back seat in the van, so there's nothing to like push it up against, tie it down to. So I have to put my ramp up and push the bike up the ramp backwards. I mean, that's a 300 and I don't know. I don't know the exact weight on this. 360 pound motorcycle. Like, have you tried that before? Like, luckily my driveway is low enough. I can back down to it and it makes it a little easier, but I'm deathly afraid to drop the $30,000 motorcycle that I own and I feel like a complete moron and I feel like I'm going to drop the bike every time I do it and everybody's going to look at me like I'm a complete moron. And they're right. But today, when I leave here, I'm going to Laguna Seca tomorrow and on the way, I'm going to stop, I'm going to bolt it on and I'm getting a new system for my van. Like when it comes to spending money on motorcycle stuff, I'm the cheapest guy ever, but I blow all my money on other stupid shit. So this is my first trip. I don't even know what it's called. Got one of these uh, 1200 watt portable power stations from my buddies over at Granger. This should make life in the van a lot easier. I'm excited about that just because I can plug all my devices into it. I don't gotta worry about, I'm not, I don't have power and everything in my van. I'm gonna go do this. Then I'm going, I, I don't think I'm gonna put it in the same video, but I'm gonna, I'll show you the uh, bolted on kit when I get done with it today in this video. But then I'm doing a track day at Laguna Seca tomorrow. And I'm gonna probably put that in an OFTV video. So put the link to that below if you guys want to go watch those videos. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. That's always weird too. Like going from one scene to the next. I don't want to just be like, see you there, or let's go. Like I always do that. And I feel so stupid. Like why can't I just, why can't I just end it right here, right now? Thanks.
right, so we just got to the top of Azusa Canyon. Got the gravel tower right there. Nice view in the background. Could hear the water running down here. Super fun ride. Got uh, all the bikes right here from the DROC. And uh, now we're just hanging out up here. Let's go, uh, go say hey to the Ducati biker, Mr. Milan. What's up, Team Ducati? How was it? It was awesome, man. I was waiting for you to pass me because I was just so nervous the whole time. Josh was following me. I was like, oh god, Josh is following me. He's following me. And then he came in front of me. Like, all right, let's see, uh, you know, how well we could, uh, how well I could keep up with you. But like you say, your tires were used. But it was awesome following you and Ronaldo. And this whole place is I see the OnlyFans finger. Yay, represent. <laughs> That's all I'm allowed to wear. <laughs> gotta take a look at the bikes here. Desert X here. How was it? Great, man. You good? Yeah, good hanging with you. Guys. <laughs> yeah, awesome. good hanging with you guys. Did a little bit of uh, fun riding. <laughs> was was trying to take it easy because I forgot that uh, I started riding. And my uh, rear tire felt a little weird. I had it, I had it like in race mode, traction troll off. And I'm like, man, why do I feel like I have no grip? And then I remember last time I rode Chuck Walla, I got done coaching, did the last session with TC off, just spinning the tire up, coming out of the corners, backing in everywhere. So got a new Q5 that we're mounting up when we get back to Ducati Newport, but coming up was, it was fun. Grip was good, but I could definitely feel like that it wasn't normal. And I couldn't figure out why until about halfway through. So had to be a little bit careful. Uh, did some wheelies, backed it in, you know, normal thing. H had a lot of fun. So um, hopefully the GoPro chesty was in the right spot. I didn't bring the perfect mounts, um, but I tried to make it work. Tried to kind of like sit up a little bit and not be so far over the tank. And uh, yeah, hopefully it worked out. So, you know, again, always feels weird trying to end these. So I'm just going to go to the next clip now. <laughs> Fuck, I love this helmet.
right guys, we just got back to Ducati Newport. Uh, ride went really well. No, uh, you know, nothing bad happened, which is good. Those big group rides sometimes are a little bit uh, worrisome, but everybody made it back in one piece. Uh, bikes are all good. We got lost one time, but that's all good. That's part of the adventure, right? Um, so happy to be able to come out and hang out with the DROC guys. Uh, but I wanted to take a quick sec and talk to you about this helmet right here. So for those of you that didn't see it, I posted on my story a few days ago that we were going to be selling um, a replica of my Daytona helmet. So the same paint job that we won at the Daytona 200 this year, uh, same model helmet, everything, but we were only going to paint 10 of them and sell them. So that way they were numbered on the back, signed on the back, same logos, got the only fans on there, got all that stuff on there. Um, and they sold out like within the first day, they were all gone. So we sold, we sold 10, like I said, um, and you know, it did so well that now I'm thinking about, or I'm actually, I'm going to do this with other model helmets. So this is the first helmet that I raced, uh, you know, round one at Road Atlanta this year. Love the look of this thing. This is probably, I know some people will say no, but this is one of my favorite designs that we've done. Um, got the good boy vodka on there, got the flames on it, which is sick. The only difference would be that on the back right here, we probably wouldn't do the two because I autograph it under the clear coat here and then we do a sticker down here that basically um, it'll say like helmet one of ten, helmet two of ten, helmet five of ten, whatever. So um, in the comments, if you're interested in that, uh, leave your email there so I can reach out to you and let you know whenever we drop the next helmet uh, because like I said, it'll be limited to ten. So I'll do the first announcement on the email list and if we don't sell out, then I'm gonna post it on my social media sites. Um, but from now on, I'm like I said, not gonna post it unless they don't sell out. And I have a hard time believing that 10 of them won't sell out the next time we do it because we had hundreds of people interested in the first one. So um, like I said, leave your email in the comments. I'll reach out to you whenever we got them. Um, yeah, that's all I got for now. I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's how we load it. I don't know, did you see any of it? No, dude, as soon as I went to go do it, dead. So literally, like, every time I go to load my bike right now, I have I'm to like to straddle you. the front of it, to, yeah. put my ramp here, I'm and I walk it up like this, fighter. like yeah. backwards, it because I don't have anywhere soon, in the van right now. <laughs> oh, I get it. Like I can't put it up against my so seat, because awesome. and I don't have any tie down hooks, so I literally go backwards, close the doors, lock the door, <laughs> put it this way. I'm scared shitless all the time that the thing's gonna just fly out of the doors. But tonight I'm going to pick up this bolted on system, which I'll show you guys when I get it. But it'll make my life way easier. So yeah, for now, hopefully it holds up one more ride. All right guys, so I just finished up my track day here at Laguna Seca. Uh, got my bolted on all secured in the van. Um, been waiting for one of these for a while, so I'm super excited to try it out. Uh, it's gonna be the first time loading it in. So it basically just, you know, no tools needed, just attached to the D-rings here, just two of them. Uh, tightened it down, connected the accessories to it with just by tightening the knob. And then we got a roll on uh, wheel chuck right here, so I don't need help with, you know, anybody holding the bike or anything while I tie it down, which is awesome. So. I'm gonna roll the bike in here and see how it works. She works. <laughs> um, this is gonna make things a lot easier. Like I said before, I was loading this thing in backwards and that always sucks. It's you know sketchy loading the bike and I'm always afraid I'm gonna drop it and also I don't know how much I want to trust the back door of the van that the thing when I go up a steep hill or I don't know, whatever happens when you're driving, that thing is not going to just open up and fall out of the back. So um, huge thanks to uh, the guys that bolted on for, bolted on for you know, giving me a discount on this thing. It's uh, something that I definitely needed, so I was willing to pay full price, but he offered a discount, and uh, you know, so I'll gladly post about it because I feel like it's something that everybody should have in their van, and, and uh, yeah, I'm stoked about it. So once I've used it for a little while, I'll, I'll uh, let you know what I think about it but it seems like I'm gonna be pretty stoked on it, so yeah.